Big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. A lot of you guys ask me, hey Pitmaster, do you ever do fish at all? Ta -da -da. Then this one is for you. I got myself a whole salmon and I'm going to turn it into the most delicious pinwheels you've ever seen or had or tried. So stick around because in the end you will see all my secret tricks. Cleaning up a salmon is very easy. You're just gonna start at the back of the head. With your big knife, you're slicing off the whole fillet. Then you're gonna do the same on the other side. Get rid of the head, the tails and the bones. Remove the skin and then you're left with the fillet. Or you could just buy a whole salmon fillet. Let's make some spices for the salmon. Of course, I'm making my favorite, the Pitmaster X Classic Barbecue Rub. Starting with two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of paprika powder, two tablespoons of onion powder, and half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Mix that all up, and then you have the best barbecue rub in the whole world for the least amount of money. Now, if you want to check the recipe, of course, it's written down on pitmasterx.com. I'm gonna sprinkle a light coat on top of my salmon because fish is delicate and it doesn't need much seasoning. Of course, I need something to stuff my salmon with. That's why I'm making a delicious cream cheese with a fresh spice mix. And it all starts with a big bunch of mint. I'm gonna chop it up real fine. I'm gonna do the same for some parsley. Chop it up again real fine. Then I'm gonna take the zest of three limes and put it in. And now, of course, I'm gonna need some cream cheese and I got a big bag full of cream cheese. Now it's a bit cold. This one got away. <laughs> it has to go in the bowl. Today's not kind of my day on the, on the cream cheese section. Now, trust me, I love cream cheese, but what I really want is something that's going to go into that salmon, that's going to become one with the salmon, but more important is to bring that flavor of the spices into the salmon. So basically the cream cheese is just a vehicle to get the flavor to the salmon, to have it stick, to sit there and to make the whole thing taste freaking amazing. And of course, I'm going to need to boost the flavors with some salt. And this is a finishing salt of which I'm going to use a quarter tablespoon or a teaspoon followed up by some ground pepper half a teaspoon of ground pepper will do and with a fork i'm going to work all the spices in cream cheese in cold weather mixing it up best done inside with cozy temperatures but i'm not complaining <sighs> because in the end there's a reward waiting for me mm. And I can smell the mint and I can smell the parsley. This is gonna be so freaking tasty. It's like a little bit of ray of sunshine, a little bit of summer in the middle of winter, just because it's such a bright and flavorful sunshiny dish. Almost done with the first one. It's quite a bit of a task doing this in the cold weather. I definitely recommend getting your cream cheese up to room temperature or do this indoors. Of course, I'm gonna do both salmons. That's it. All gone. Now it's time to roll up the salmon. Stick a couple of pins in them. And once the pins are in, I'm gonna slice them into thick slices, at least two fingers thick. Of course, I'm gonna stick in some extra pins because as you can see, the salmon is very, very delicate. And if you don't, then it falls apart on you. But now you got a real pinwheel. I'm about to cook the salmon on the Napoleon grill. And I got a problem because that salmon is so delicate that once it hits a temperature of around 50 degrees Celsius, all that fat in the salmon is gonna rend it down, it's gonna be extremely flaky, and then the salmon is gonna drop through the grill grate into the barbecue, and gone is the salmon. And it's gone. Don't want that, nobody wants it. So, here's my solution, grapefruit. Let's cut the grapefruit into thick slices, Gorgeously juicy red, that is. Take off the ends, throw that away, and I'm gonna do four of these. And the slices of grapefruit go straight on the grill grate without turning on the grill. Because I wanna start with a cold barbecue. I just wanna get the opportunity to put everything in and save my salmon at the same time. Of course, I wanna fill up all the holes, and then on goes the salmon. I'm gonna turn the whole thing into one giant pie of salmon. Look at this. To finish it off, I'm gonna sprinkle on a little bit of sugar, sweeten things up. And when you really wanna spice things up, just add a little bit of chili powder like me. And now, finally, it's time to turn on the barbecue and just 
let all the burners burn slowly at the lowest setting. And to be sure, you always want to stick in the thermometer to make sure you got the right temperatures. Because there's an important thing to know about salmon. If you want to unlock the secret of tasty salmon, then you gotta know salmon is cooked at a temperature of 45 degrees Celsius. The limit to the temperature that you can go is 60 degrees Celsius. That's the point where it's gonna be dry and gnarly, like a lot of people do. I'm not naming names. Close the lid, let the thing cook. I just got the notification that the core of my salmon is at 45 degrees Celsius. Now look at that beautiful thing. This is what I was talking about. The egg whites are starting to pop out, which means this salmon is done. The core is still at 45, but that's because you're getting heat from down below. So that center is gonna be at a lower temperature than the outside. Now I don't wanna go any further because let me show you how well done this is. Look at that flaky salmon. Shining, ready, cooked, juicy. I'm turning the heat off. Now let's get this off the grill and onto the plate. Look at that. Now that is a star dish. Be careful because this is so super delicate. Let's get that pin out. Look at this salmon. What an absolute beauty. To finish it off, I'm gonna put on a little bit of parsley, a wedge of lime, stick that in there. And then my plate is done. This is all it needs. Now it's time to taste it. Whoa, look at that. A little bit of that cream cheese with mint and parsley. Oh. Mm, that's ridiculous. Worth all the trouble I went through. The mint is really something special to go with salmon. It's really out of this world. I feel so sorry for the people that don't love fish. That's just, oh man, if you don't love fish. Mm. That's so good.